Okay, traders, a uh, short recap of my trading day today. Here's how my account looks like. I've got a small loser in ANF, BURL, also a loser. Uh, a beautiful trade still running 200 shares with DG, my only open trade now. A very small winner in DLTR, NTNX a loser, OLI, a beautiful winner. That one should get uh, the price for, uh, for the trending price of the year. And uh, SY loser. I'm going to finish my day up $3,600. So that's a beautiful day. My fourth, uh, sorry, my third, third, fourth, fourth, my fourth winning day of the week. So I've got all green days for the week. As I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to be trading tomorrow. Off to London for the weekend. So I'm having a great day. Let's go through my trades one at once. So we've got ANF to start with. So here's ANF. If you take a look at uh, ANF, uh, ANF started with a huge gap down. It's down 16% right now. I saw the first failure and shorted it. However, it tricked me. It moved up a bit. At that point, I was sure it's going to move over the highs. I was wrong. Uh, Scott, kept, Scott kept to it and uh, he had a beautiful trade. Also, he added under 15, which was even more beautiful. And then he's got a good trade in ANF, but... Um, on my side, I have a loser. However, my loser was very small because I reduced my size and moved out of the rest at a very small uh, loss. So that ended up to be quite a small loser, but could have been a winner. I don't know if I played it wrong. Probably did. I should admit that, I guess. BURL was also a loser. BURL, I went long. That was over 204.40. Now, if you will look back, I posted it in the trading room much lower than that, but then missed it as it was moving higher. I really liked uh, the way it looked somewhere around here. Oh my God, that was almost... No, that couldn't be. No, no, no. It was lower than that. 203 something, I think. 20340. Yeah, something like here. So I went long here for a short time. It looked great, moved higher, did not reach my target. Uh, I think it did more than a more than a point, but did not reach my target. Did um, move over the highs, but then came down, and I just moved out of it recently because it's just going sideways. So BURL was a failing trade for me, although it had a nice potential because this stock is up 16%. I don't think there was anything wrong with BURL trade. I just think that you know I wasn't lucky enough with this trade. Uh, DG. That was a nice winner. This one I posted in the room over 153.50, which was not the first time it came up, but the second time it came up. 153.50 was right over here. So that was a beautiful trade because initial move was up, beautiful, came down, looked for the pullback, just like BURL, but probably better entry, better technical entry, and then it moved up beautifully. And that was a very, very nice trade. I'm still riding 200 shares. Um, <clears throat> DLTR uh, was a short under 150, which was just recently done uh, somewhere around here. You know what? I can't even remember where here. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. Did not reach my target. was very close to my target. But when I saw it was starting to go around, yeah, it was here. When I, when I noticed it was starting to go around... I took a very small profit, maybe 25 cents or so. I took a very small profit in DLTR and moved out because I just figured out it's not going to do much. It's up and down and I don't think I should have held to it. When you have a stock that is not going anywhere, that was also the case in NTNX, then you shouldn't be holding to that stock forever. I mean, come to an understanding that you picked a stock that you just didn't just just didn't do what you expected it to do doesn't matter what the reason is like look look at ntnx that was a long i posted in the room over 25 dollars so here's 25 dollars it moved over the highs that was here or here yeah moved here came down a bit then moved up. I, I can't remember where i bought it but it moved up 24 cents that was not enough because my risk was more than 30 cents maybe 40 cents so i was looking for it to move, move over 25 40 did not reach my target 
and then started playing around. Reduced my half size at a very small loss and then reduced the second half also at a loss. Had my stop here under 70. I didn't know if it's going to continue coming down or moving up from here. As you can see, it's kind of moving up now, but really just moving sideways. So again, there's no reason to hold to a stock that is not going your way. Just no reason for that. And as I mentioned earlier, the right thing to do is to move out of everything. And the second best thing to do is to move out of half. Since it's very, very hard to move out of a stock that is just not going your way because you always expect it to finally move up over the highs and then be a huge winner, then, you know, the least you can do is just reduce by, just reduce your size. That's it. Uh, my best winner today is OLLI, which was my kind of bread and butter trades, which I always do. The stock is down 27%. So started with a huge gap down today. Look at it yesterday. Look at it today. So started with a huge gap down, came down, pulled back up, came down again. At that point where it came down again, I shorted it and it continued to come down several points. Uh, now it lost its way. It's just going sideways. So again, there was no reason to hold for it. Had my stop for my last 200 shares, actually 100 shares over 56, and then it was out. My last trade, and that and that one came down with a beautiful, beautiful uh, continuation. My last trade was uh, SY under 13.70, and that one also it did not reach my target. It was somewhere over here, 13.70 did not reach my target, came down. Um, can't remember again where I moved out. You know, the thing is, I had way too many trades today. I don't, I don't even remember where my entries were at each and every trade I took today. Way too many trades. But look at my losers. My losers are very, very small compared to my winners, to my main two winners, of course, because I've got a very small winner here. I have more losers than winners, actually. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three winners. But my winners are much greater. I play the game correctly, letting them go with me, and you know, taking out as much as I could for my winners, and moved out for my losers when I noticed they're not going anywhere. That was the case with BURL. Uh, that was the case with ANF, although it could have been a winner. That was certainly the case with NTNX, and I can't even remember what happened to SY. So the thing is, I'm going to finish up $3,700, and that is mainly because of money management. That is mainly because of having my stops at the right time, taking small losers, if stock's not going my way, reducing the size, and so on. That would be the reason why I'm finishing green today, and that would be the reason why I have a fourth in a row uh, winning trading day. And I'm having a great week, and I needed that week because last week was my first week, my first red week after, I don't know, maybe six or eight months or something like that. I had a red week. That happened last week. I was down just $1,000 or so. Wasn't much down, but I was all over last week, up and down, small size really. And it's very nice to have a whole green week after red week. So I'm happy with my trading week. Uh, that, would have, that would be my average winning day this week. So all my days were approximately over $3,000. So uh, just do the math. I'm doing good. Okay, trader, so I'm done for the day. Just a short reminder, if you did not yet join our World Series of Day Trading, which is the world's greatest competition ever, you should do it right now. There's a link below this video. It is a great competition. It comes with prices up to $3 million in funded accounts. There's, it doesn't cost anything. There's no cost to join. Nobody's going to ask your credit card or anything like that. Just join, participate. Prove to us that you have what it takes to become a trader and win, possibly win some great prices. Uh, here's the official video. Take a look and uh, join below. World Series of Day Trading. You've read and heard about it everywhere. Now, let me tell you what it's all about.
The World Series of Day Trading is the largest, most important, and most dominant trading-related competition in the world. Every few months, the day trading community holds its breath for six trading days to see who is the leading talent in the world of trading. Each competitor gets a $240,000 demo account to trade with for the six trading days. The goal is to reach the end of the competition with the highest account balance and without getting eliminated. Each competitor must trade on at least four active trading days out of the six, and you're not allowed to hold any position overnight. On a given trading day, you may not lose more than $3,500, and you can't be down more than $12,000 at any point in the competition. If you reach the max loss, you are automatically eliminated. It's an open competition, and anyone can apply whether you have many years of track record in the market or very little experience. While we are powered by TradeNet, you can apply regardless of where you obtained your education and irrespective of the trading platform you use. The prizes for the champion and the runners-up are fantastic. The champion wins a $240,000 funded account access plus a $6,000 TradeNet voucher. Each one of the top 20 traders wins access to a funded account. The total funded account access fund surpasses $3 million. You need to know that as a competitor, you deserve to be a part of a team. Your team leader will guide you throughout the series, so it's better if you follow him and his social media channel closely. As a team member, you also enjoy the internal competition with your teammates. The best trader in your team wins an $80,000 funded account value, while the two runner-ups gets a $14,000 funded account access. Your team is also competing with the other teams, so if your team is among the top three, then the leading players on your team can get even larger prizes. Got more questions? That's okay. Fill in the details below, and we will get back to you shortly to explain. Now it's time for you to go ahead and sign yourself up with one of the teams. Hurry up and sign up right now.